Oh, speaking of difference making names, is he ready to go over there? I don't know. You never know with uh, North Greenville assistant Trey Dyson right now. It looks like he's uh, ready to join the show. I'm not quite sure if I can get a visual confirmation. Oh, yeah, he's ready. Oh, look at that. And they got the trophy ready to go. Well done, Trey. Who you got? Is that that's not Ethan, is it? Has he got Ethan with you? No, no, this is uh, this is Pat Monty. This kid's a superstar third baseman conference fr freshman of the year last year and uh and great lettuce great salad up there man pat i like what you're doing there yeah he's got he's got great style as well and this kid's got bat speed for days he was he was huge in the super regional so uh please illustrate for us narrate for us the the trophies you're showing us so there pat you got your triple fisting is that what you're doing right here we got the regular season conference champion and then we got the conference tournament, and then we got the, the oh, regional, don't drop it. Don't super drop it. regional trophy. <laughs> Good call, Scott. Don't don't drop it. Whatever you do, you got to be very careful there. I think the the bandwidth and the the only thing going in the North Greenville office right now that's not uh, championship level. As we check out all the hardware. Oh, there's Landon. I think we just saw Landon. Yeah, well, he's is he assisting with all the hardware? You need more than uh, one pair of hands to, to do all of that. Is that right, Trey? Uh, yeah, you know, Landon, Landon has been cameos throughout the UFA, uh, the UFA uh, journey here over the past couple of weeks. And he's, you know, one thing, Tim, are we coming across okay? It's no. a little, <laughs> little spotty, little... Uh, <laughs> Mm, not championship I'm, I'm like so quality sorry. right now. I should so. I shouldn't have better service at the Hyundai dealership than you've got in a college. <laughs> <laughs> well, the problem is, is for whatever reason, the the Wi-Fi it for our school is not allowing the Steam Yard thing to uh, come through. That makes sense. That that we are being um uh being shut out being uh throttled down censored, the north censored. Yes, little little censored little restrictions there at north greenville's probably wise probably wise on their part all right so tell us a little bit about the journey there trey it, it got a little uh shaky there didn't it um against columbus state game one no problem game two a little different and then game three uh looked pretty good right um yeah yeah uh game one good game uh very good game um and then Columbus State's a really, really good team. They had six six guys coming into it that had uh, double digit home runs. I think their coach over there, um, I think he has over a thousand thousand wins. And they knocked us out of the tournament last year. And so um, we had a challenge coming into it. But uh, and we had some injuries and stuff like that. But no excuses, no excuses. Um, and uh, we ended up. We were winning all the all of game two, the entire game. The, the kid right here, Pat Monteith, if you can still see him, he hit a a big three run home run in uh in the fifth uh I think in the fifth inning of game two. Wait to a second, let's up. do the usual sports thing. Hey Pat, what kind what what kind of pitch did you see on that one? What what did you see, and then how did you react? Um, it was a changeup, pretty much middle middle first pitch, home and a right. So. What was wow. your head coach telling you before that? Event? Head coach was telling me sit back on the off speed and hit a homer to right. Brilliant. That's good stuff. Did he call a timeout right before your at bat to actually go out on the field and tell you that, or was that in the dugout? He did not. It was in the dugout. Oh, okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Sorry to interrupt. Excellent sportsy sports talk breakdown. Back to Trey with the. Did, it, did, did, did your head coach interject at some point during that meeting? You know, I caught a perfect game one time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's iceberg. <laughs> it's a distinct voice, no doubt. Um, yeah, yeah. So he, uh, our Scott, obviously knows um, Landon pretty well. I didn't, uh, know, right. hold on. I didn't know that was Scott on there. That's Scott Iceberg. It is. Up, Scotty? How are you? I, I have my hat. I was wearing my hat yesterday. My North Cream. I went Bucky's today, but I was wearing my. I gotta get you a new one. Hat. This is our new. This is our new gray one right here. So Ooh, that's a good looking one. one. Yeah, the black one looks good too. I wore the black one. I wore it yesterday. So people don't people don't know, but Scott and I go way way back. He, uh, him, my wife and I. My wife and Scott were in school all the way through together in broadcast school. So I've known Scott since probably freshman year of college. Yes. Long and, time. And you still talk to him. And, and Scott, look where he is now. He's, he's turned into a superstar. I mean, sitting at a, I'm sitting at a Hyundai service 
thing with my wife's car. That's where I am right now. <laughs> and coming in strong, solid for sure. Uh, Landon, I've seen the quote a couple of times that this team, uh, when the back's against the wall, fights and, and the whole thing. Is, is that what you want to relay most about uh, the, the history-making squad you got at North Greenville going to the first College World Series? Yeah, they're a special group. I mean, you know, coaches, it's a cliche. Coaches say all the time that this is a special team, special group. And I, I, this is a special team. This is my, my, these guys don't give up. They don't give in. They've had their back against the wall so many times. I mean, and the way they won it on Saturday with losing the first game on a walk off with their two run lead, needing two outs to go to the World Series, and we get walked off. Then they come back and score six in the first, the next game, which is just kind of sick if you think about it. Um, these guys compete, man. They, they, uh, they love to play. They love to win. They, they love each other. It's, uh, you know, they're probably not the most talented team I've coached the last four or five years. Um, they're really talented, but we've had some really, really good teams, but this team is the best team and they know how to win. And, uh, so I have loved coaching them and I'm excited to go coach them some more, four more wins and let's see what happens. Right. I, I gotta ask, oh, yeah. Landon, is it make it? How much more special does it make it going home? Like to, to go to your home for a, for a World Series? I mean, how wild is that for you? Yeah, I was telling somebody else yesterday. Like, you know, this is about our team and about our players. But selfishly, for me, this is pretty cool. Um, I grew up literally a mile and a half away from the USA Baseball Complex. When I was a kid, that was a bunch of farmland, and I used to take my, my brother and my my brother and I and our friends. We would take our four wheelers and go ride all over that farmland where the fields are now. So, I mean, about whatever it's been, 12, 15 years ago, they built the USA baseball complex on that old farm. And I mean, I grew up on that dirt, you know, and uh, I used to fish on ponds right there. And so for me to be able to go home and be there, all my friends from high school and family and people in that area, I'm real excited about that. I mean, the hotel we're staying at, we just got our hotel information yesterday. It's like half a mile from my grandparents' house. Um, you know, it's, it's in the mall where I used to go on dates with girlfriends in, in middle school and high school and stuff. So this is like a real strange situation for me, but I, I couldn't be more excited to go back up to that area and, uh, it's home. That's where I grew up. So you and Trey, uh, reliving any of those old feelings at all through your players right now, back in 2002, when Ray Tanner cashed his first ticket to the college world series. We talked about it in the office Saturday after the world after we won. You know, it was just like, how cool was that? We have a photo in our office over here. Trey could probably show it to you in a minute. It's a big blown up photo of the dog pile when we won an O2, beat Miami down four to start the inning and come back and win to go to Omaha. And that's the first time in Coach Tanner's career that he went to Omaha. So we kind of, you know, Trey and I and all our teammates kind of busted that door down for Coach Tanner. And, you know, we were sitting in the office after Saturday saying, you know, those our players just busted the door down for us and uh, and how cool that is. And, and now we have that perspective of how Coach Tanner felt in that moment. And, um, you know, it was definitely a, a special, special feeling. Will Allison be on TV more than you this time as well, 18 years later? If the producers are smart. <laughs> if, the broadcast, if the broadcast team is smart, yeah, they would put her on TV a lot more than me. Um, yeah, if she was the star of the College World Series, like 0-2, 0-3, 0-4. Like I've never seen 40, somebody get more airtime in my life. Never seen more airtime than that. <laughs> was, was it her and Kevin Malillo's sister? Is that right? Was that all part of the group back You are then? correct. Yeah, you are correct. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what Good I memory, thought. Good memory, Tim. Good memory. <laughs> so, and, and then uh, the second stars were the old creepy guys sitting behind them, you know, like, <laughs> keeping an eye out. <laughs> <laughs> so as you were talking, Landon, about your team and then even about that 0-2 team that came back against Miami, the miracle of Miami, and the uh, grit is the word that comes to mind. Can can you coach grit, man, or do you just have to, to recruit guys that already have it? Well, well I think you definitely recruit. That's something I look for in recruiting. I, I'm looking for winners. I'm looking for kind of that blue-collar look. And like a guy like Monty sitting right next to me, you know, when I recruited him, I noticed that he was a he was kind of a competitor, like a, not kind of he was a competitor. He was a dog. Like he, if I talked to him about beating him in horse, it fired him up. If I said I'm gonna beat you in ping pong, it like fired him up. I'm looking for that that look in their eye that like they will not lose. They're gonna figure out a way to win. I was that way. Trey was that way. All great competitors have that kind of, you know, I guess psychotic feeling that they they can't lose. It's not an option. And um, so I, I try to recruit that. But then once they get here, it's part of everyday life. I mean, we're very competitive every day in practice. Um, we're competitive around the locker room and the offices. Like, um, it's it's something that we just make part of the fiber of our program. And so I do think that we do coach that grit. But 
you got to also have the the want to already in you to to be that kind of guy, and um, that's really the secret ingredient I think to this team. Um, are they the biggest, strongest, fastest team? Do we have the best pitch? I mean, yeah, we're good, but we're not probably the best at any of those things. But these dudes have grit, they have heart, they don't know how to quit, um, and they never they're never out of it. Like they can be down five in the ninth and they feel like they can still win. And there's not many teams that have that mentality. Can the Long Island native uh, accept that as a definition of grit, or do you have to go I, to the actual food, sir? Uh, no, no, I, you know, I was going my cousin Vinny, if anyone <laughs> didn't pick it up. But I, yeah, I went, I, went, I went with the my cousin Vinny line. It was a little hanging fruit, but it's okay. <laughs> You're no longer a Ute, Scotty. You're no longer a Ute. You can't get away you've with lived, that. You've lived in the South longer than you have in the North, Scotty. I, I have. I have. And and you know why I'm here at Hyundai? Because I, I got mud in the tires, right? I got mud in the tires. <laughs> How's the po- positive traction in your, in your tires these days? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I hope that's not my car and it's uh, sounding the alarm right now. We're about to find out. So, Landon, I know you got things to do, man. You guys are busy this week and the whole thing. Uh, now it's a matter of balance, balancing the the serious attitude you take on the business trip and valuing the whole thing. I imagine you go back on your personal experience as a, as a player um, to rely on how you're going to coach these guys here in the next few days. You know, um, for me, the, the, the Omaha, when I think about Omaha, when Trey and I got to go and, and I got to spend those years there, I just remember how fun it was and how, like, you know, our coaches really kind of let us be loose and have fun and enjoy it. And it's it's a celebration of your season. You're still there to compete. But it's, it's a you know, it's for these guys, it needs to be an incredibly fun experience. So that's my plan going into it is, you know, we're going to – it's going to be a lot less stressful, I would say. Um, and um, we're going to set up some fun activities on our off days. But – you know, when that umpire says play ball, we're going to compete like we always do. And I don't, I know that the team I have, I don't have to make them do that. That's how they are. They're just going to start competing as soon as that umpire says play ball. But my goal is to keep them loose and have fun on all the other activities outside of the games. So. And returning to the homeland to do it, man, I can't imagine everything you got to, to balance. So it's per- personally and professionally, thanks for uh, hopping in here, even though you yeah. might have gotten uh, roped into it by Trey and our guru. Well, no, I just, I share I just caught Iceberg's voice. I figured I had to see his face. I, yeah. I want to make sure I said, hey, he's my guy. So You, you guy. do all the things that low country viewers don't do. That They hear my voice and it's the opposite. <laughs> Go make dinner. <laughs> all right good catching up with y'all thanks for good having to see you. good on. luck landon yeah good absolutely luck. good luck to you guys uh north green but look at that this is just a normal day in the office for you trey is that how it works um yeah usually you know i'll come up with some grand idea and then landon you know he'll come over he'll snatch it right out of my hands like he did today but you know <laughs> that's um that's what a good assistant coach does you know he makes the the head coach uh look good that's what i try to do you know true team guy and uh now but uh, it's been a lot of lot of fun, a lot of fun. And don't forget, Lincoln, the players look good as well with Pat over there and the hardware showing it all off, man. Uh, for you, how does this compare to 20 years ago? <clears throat> uh, the feelings are just the same. Um, you know, you you've got pride and and as a as a player, and you got pride as a coach that you want to do. You know, you want to win. You want to prove to the world that you can, you know, win as as a coach now and. Um, like Landon said, it's a it's an everyday grind as far as like creating a winning winning type environment, um, and uh, it's just really fulfilling. Uh, it's really fulfilling, especially since we had to deal with some kind of tough injuries. It makes it even more fulfilling. Yeah, can you? It was your catcher that went down. He, he still hadn't gotten an AB yet. He hadn't talked his way back into the back back into the lineup yet, has he? John Michael Fail? Not quite yet. Not quite yet. But we'll see. Um, we'll see how he does over the course of this week. Um, maybe some Kirk Gibson heroics in there, possibly. But but we've been winning without him. Heck, we might not need him at this point. <laughs> hey, Pat, still there beside you? I'm guessing, I'm wondering from a player's perspective, how sick are you guys hearing Omaha stories from uh, your coaches who have been there and done that? Uh, you know, I mean, heard, heard all the stories, but no, it's cool. I like it. I like listening. Scott, as a uh, professional skeptic in the media, you believe that answer? You buying that or, or not? Did that, <laughs> I, did that I, eye roll give it I believe look? there's two people in that <laughs> office that can make him run gassers right now. So he's, he's, he's going to be no. cool with whatever it may be. 
<laughs> um, I'll tell you, you know, Scott, Scott mentioned the, 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 uh, the perfect game story uh, with Landon. You know, Landon is very proud of that moment and rightfully so. Um, so that, that kind of, that kind of sticks around with them, but I'll tell you what, Landon has got stories. <clears throat> you hear a lot of the same stories. He repeats a lot of the same stories a lot, <laughs> but he comes up with gems like out of nowhere that you wouldn't believe, like how we met Alex Rodriguez or something, you know, hanging out with Car who was it? Cameron Diaz or something like that. Cameron Diaz and A-Rod in, uh, in, at the Black Sands Beach in Hawaii. Yeah, stuff like wow. that. You hear you hear stuff like that on a daily basis. Um, here's here's the photo. Did, wait, oh. did did Cameron Diaz date Alex Rodriguez? Yeah, I think that was it for a little while. I did not realize that. Oh, good stuff oh, there. Great. Actually holding it up. Is that uh, what we got there's on team, top? There's, let's, let's there's a little uh, tray here in the middle. Yeah, let's get some names. On there. There's the, the young... <laughs> um, there's Blake Taylor down there on the bottom, uh, Demetric over there on the right, Tim Seaton, mm -hmm. the uh, the right field replacement over there in the top right, and then it's hard to, it's where's hard my, to where's, my neighbor, where's my neighbor Drew? Where's my neighbor Drew? Where's my neighbor Drew? Meyer in the mix. Drew's the probably in the bottom somewhere. Well, he's yeah. a fast guy, right? He got there quickly from short. Oh, there he is. Moment. I see him right now. He's at the bottom. He's uh, Blake's left leg is kind of covering up his number okay. but I, but he's at the bottom there i was like the most random what about the bat boy is that one of tomans hey that bat boy right here um yeah Corey. he is now the assistant ad at western carolina <laughs> wow. that's how old we are <laughs> fantastic man and and at the sarge all right oh, good stuff with the circle k advertisement you got to get that i imagine that hardware was way weighing down on pat for a while <clears throat> got to get them up and moving you guys working out anytime soon trey what you got going there yeah we got uh practice at 11 and then we've been doing a movie uh landon's been written out a movie theater uh during the postseason before the conference tournament, we won that. Before the regional, we won that. Before the super regional, we won that. And now you, you just got to stick with what's been working. We're going to see Top Gun. We're going to see Top Gun today. Oh, well. yeah. You got to see Top Gun. Yeah. I, I have, I, Scotty, have you seen it? No, I was actually going to, like, the movie theater is like a quarter mile from here. I was actually going to walk down and see the first showing of it today while my car is getting fixed, but I. I jumped on your show instead, so I'll oh, have to do wow. it another day. The highest compliment this show's ever gotten. Trey, if you, yeah. you guys don't come up with a vlog breakdown of Top Gun, your movie review, then you're not doing it right as an assistant coach. You, you've got to make that happen for us. I haven't heard one bad review Me either. yet. Not crazy. one. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> I like to go into movies not knowing anything about it. Um so y'all have already kind of ruined it a little bit <laughs> by saying it's that good, but it's, it's okay. You're welcome. Here's a it. spoiler. It involves airplanes. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. But, um, but no, I do want to bring up one point I was thinking about. We were talking about losing our catcher, um, right. John Michael Fail, who's just he, 81 RBIs on the air. But Pat Monty, that kid that was sitting there, Landon was talking about the type of players he likes to recruit here, those competitive players. What, one thing that kind of drives a kid like Pat Pat crazy is hearing about how good John Michael Fail is all the time, and and so I'm like, okay, Pat, well, good. Well, you've got a chance to do something about it. And so Pat actually went into the three hole, which is where John Mike hits, and uh, he he did something about it. So he had a great he's had a great postseason, and uh, he really made a name for himself. It's just, it's so fun. And, you know, me having the media background and even at Carolina, just loving to do with doing the interviews and stuff like that after the game, got a good group of kids. And my whole message to them before the game is get to the podium after the game. That's your whole goal. If you want, you know, if you want to have a good life, then you will be on the podium with head coach Landon Powell at the end of the game. And, and it's, it's worked out a couple of times. Trey, yeah. didn't you do? Didn't you do the uh, like the bus thing, like the Absolutely behind the scenes did. on the bus? Oh yeah, you mean it, it in in Omaha? Yeah, yeah in I'll Omaha, you like did the bus thing. I'll never yeah. forget it. Yeah, you were the tour guide on the bus, the College World Series broadcast. They busted in, and then they, hey, I'm Trey Dyson, and this is the bus, and you do yeah, the whole I thing. I remember that. Twenty years later, here you are. Yeah, I was always the guy that they would go to. You know, even if I was, even if I didn't have a good game. 
people like you or people like you guys would know that I wouldn't give like a canned response, you know? So I was always getting, getting some media attention, which of course, I mean, who doesn't love that? Right. And now it's paid off into a tremendous Tim Hill unrestricted free agent show appearance on a Tuesday during May, the end of May, right before history for the College World Series. First time ever for North Greenville in Division Two. Congratulations, man. Uh, Keep us up to date. I want to hear your review on Top Gun and uh, make sure you keep these guys loose. It seems like that's going to be a big problem. Uh, yeah, yeah. You you know how we operate. Uh, that's how we feel like we play the best, and uh, especially in big games. So you gotta where, you gotta you gotta have fun. I want to. Where does Landon Powell procure a movie theater? Like just to just to get a movie theater? I mean, Scott, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but did you know that Landon Powell caught a perfect game in the big league? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I uh, guess that opens you up to movie theater <laughs> rentals and travelers rest. Or I, I have no idea. Exactly. Yeah, it's you got a game card. He's like, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna take the theater now. Yeah. No, they were like, oh, well, Dallas Braden already got the theater, so you're secondary in this. <laughs> no, but tough. that was that was a lot of fun today, and we probably inspired Landon. Right now, I guarantee you that that brain is jogging some memories of. Hopefully, we'll be here. And we're oh gosh, we're going back to his hometown area. We are gonna be in for a treat. <laughs> we are gonna be in for a treat. Take some notes. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want a, a vlog on going back to the mall. I want, to, I want you to take me to the Claire's where he purchased the plastic <laughs> engagement ring for the <laughs> girlfriend at the mall. I'll do my best. I'll do all my right. best. That's all you can ask. Trey Dyson, fantastic stuff from the office there, in North Greenville. Thanks, Trey. Thanks, guys. Scott, good to see yeah. you. You too. How about that, man? You can't make that stuff up. Uh, and that was just a kind of a, a logical extent. That's that's how it works on the show. If we're actually going to talk about uh, Landon Powell being in the mix and the whole coaching situation in Carolina, and then he pops right up with the yeah, picture. absolutely. Yeah, we pumped his holding. tires for about tw- yeah twenty five minutes. We pumped the tires for, and then he and then he shows up on there. 